Hey guys, welcome to Amber Reviews and today I'm going to do a walkthrough of kind of all the mods I've put on this car. I've only had it for a few months but I think I've been <laughs> so dedicated to try to put on the mods because you know it's the probably one of the funnest things about owning a car so yeah i mean quickly first shout out look at this crazy car park i found as i was kind of just exploring so i'm here it's around whew, almost 7 a.m my time um yeah nice and quiet and early Hopefully they don't disturb anyone while I'm doing this. But yeah, like, all right, let's do some of the most obvious ones. So exterior wrap. Uh, it's a Sunspell uh, matte PPF wrap. So I really wanted uh, a wrap that, you know, actually added a bit of value um, and protection as well as, you know, not just looking good, because looking good's fine. But I think I like, I think it was just like a double bonus, right? Um, it looks good and it also protects. So I think that was probably one of the best investments on the car for me. The second part probably has to be the rims. So when I picked up the Tesla, almost day one, I went in and replaced my uh, the 20 inch Uber turbines and I switched it out for these. So I think the brand is called Hustler. Um, I just like the pattern um, that it kind of offered. So that's why I switched them out. Um, and I was able to resell the Uber turbines and actually get more money than these were worth. So I don't know, for me it was a win-win because I was able to then contribute the extra money I made from this essentially to um, other mods in the car. All right, so one of the recent mods that I did was this, these mirrors. So these are actually that kind of BM style, BMW style, M style mirrors. Um, so I'm getting a bit distracted. There's like pigeons kind of flying around in the top corners in this place, you know, just like a typical warehouse. Um, but yeah, these are the M style mirrors. They're replacements. So as in, I had to pop out the originals and put them in. I think they look pretty schmick. Look at the style from the front. I think I really like it. It makes it, it gives it a bit more of an aggressive look, which isn't 100% of what I was after, but no, I, I like it. Um, this wasn't a mod, but you know, it came with the car. So this is the original um, carbon fiber spoiler. Uh, oh, got bird poo in the car already. All right, I got a uh, carbon fiber spoiler. Um, I'm probably gonna replace that because I feel like it's a bit subtle. As much as I wanted to keep things original on the car, um, I think I'm probably going to replace it with something slightly bigger. Um, the other thing were these. That's a Maxton re-diffuser. So it's just like... Uh, I, look, uh, I think I wanted something a bit more... Maybe a bit more aggressive. This is quite subtle. Initially, my uh, initial design was that I wanted it to be subtle. But yeah, I'm not too sure now. I think I do like the slightly more aggressive look on the car. Uh, the other parts were these. Oh, I already got a scratch on that. But these are the mud flaps. They're the plastic, I think ABS mud flaps um, on the car. Um, they go on all four sides. I think it really has helped keep that kind of side skirt part of the car quite clean so pretty happy with that um, as you can see it's quite low um, so I was unable to probably uh, get a side skirt so this is an easy lip side skirt um, for those who don't know what easy lip is it's essentially rubber so you can see quite soft um, yeah uh, 
At first, I wasn't a big fan because it is grey and the car is kind of like a matte black. But I think it's grown on me over time. You know, it's just... I think it adds a bit more aggression and a bit more lower stance, so it looks good. Um, so the next thing is the h and lowing lowering springs. I don't think I can show you the actual springs, but the height of the car was never this good or aggressive or low, um, depending how you feel about it. But essentially, you can see I'm getting only a one and a bit of a finger in, kind of all round. It's a three inch drop. Um, I think it looks good. It does have its troubles. Um, I'm gonna kind of show you some of the main scraping points. One of the main scraping points is most likely the mud flaps. So under here, it's all kind of rough. See my front lip, that part is getting chipped out. So that's a bit annoying, but you know, I do live in a place where the um, driveway has this steep entry for an unknown reason and I wish to resolve it as soon as possible. <laughs> um, the next thing is this kind of fog light covers. So if you if I kind of step back, the theme I was kind of going for was because the car was matte black, I wanted a bit more, you know, pop and the pop was going to be the gloss black. Um, hence like, you know, my license plate, um, these kind of eyelid covers. Uh, they were gloss black along the wheels, the mirrors, the re-diffuser, they're all kind of gloss black. Um, along the side, sorry, along the front of the car, uh, I got my um, AliExpress front lip. Um, I can tell you a quick story, like I think I've waited around three months for that, back and forth, constantly being cancelled, excuses why it couldn't come out of stock, um, the apparently uh, the Australia Post resent it back. I just I don't know. Um, anyway, is here. I think it looks good. So this re this the good thing about this lip um, for those who have lowered their car and can't go any lower is that if you, if you get it on the side, so you can see it sticks out and it doesn't go down much. Besides maybe around kind of that area there, it goes down a bit. Um, yeah, the annoying thing I do hate about it is, you can see the thick join, it's it's a three part lip, which, yeah, you know, I, I didn't think I'd hate it, but I, I didn't think I'd care that much um, because it was really hard to try to find uh, an affordable kind of uh, lip where it wasn't broken into three parts. I also changed the front mesh, so, Supposedly, it stops the leaves more. I can see the leaves, but that looks super painful to get the leaves kind of out of there. And I don't drive it very much. I just, I just wanted to it to be subtly different. Um, and the logos. So I got matte black logos covers. So they don't replace the original logos are still underneath. And I put it on top. Um, there's no logo at the back. I debadged it with the intent that you know in. The near future, maybe, I might get the word Tesla logo across. Oh, actually, I forgot. There was a few other things. Um, there was some tinting done on this. Um, I just got some pre-cut stuff from Amazon. So I'm going to link all the stuff that I'm talking about inside the description. So hopefully it helps you guys. I also tinted the side. Um, you can see, look. So when light kind of hits it, it does reflect. So you can see it's red. And then when you kind of get more on an angle, it starts turning black. Um, I kind of like that. I do have intent to change my retail lights. I like the um, kind of X style pattern tail lights, but probably still waiting on that. Uh, and I believe that's all, actually, <laughs> my God, there's so many. Um, and I got 20% tints. So this is with a lot of reflection. Um, you can see it's quite dark when the sun hits it, which is kind of nice. Depending on which angle, the front hasn't got any tints on it. It's 20% all around. I believe they obviously comes with privacy glass kind of at the back originally. So I think they did try to match it 
like so, so from this angle you can when the light kind of comes with the windscreen obviously it's a very big windscreen so it allows a lot of light in you can see through so, so i can see right through um, from this side um it's not too bad uh, i think it's very good at keeping the heat out um, i've only done it in a 30 degrees celsius day so the roof does get super hot Oop. Uh, man that I think it's something's dripping there just missed me um but yeah i think that's all my exterior mods so let's go to the interior and see some of the few mods that i've done there so with the interior um this is the front i haven't done much with the front um besides that you can kind of see that kind of white light that floats around here i have a video of me doing that got some carbon fiber looking bits here more for protection just want to keep wrecking this plastic thing but to be fair you know i don't really use the frunk much oh yeah also this um so pop and you can kind of hang your shopping here if you kind of want to do that and they pop back down nice so it looks quite oem which looks good um i think if i can i don't know can i pop it out oh oh yeah i can pop it out here so that's why it kind of looks original for those who might not remember. But yeah, that's it. So that's the front. So this is a 2022 model. So it comes with the uh, electric tailgate, which is nice. Um, I love the big boot. I've uh, got two kids, so I'm trying to transport them in this thing. Um, the other thing I upgraded, probably a bit hard to see, is the lights in here. Um, I wanted to go something maybe colourful, but I ended up opting just go in plain white, which, I don't know, I'm still umming and ahhing whether I should change it, but that might be a later thing. Um, and I got this protector here. So, while, you know, well, it's probably not a big deal, I wish I got the same kind of pattern as front and back. I think I was just too, you know, quick on pressing the buy button inside Aliexpress, so that's what happens. I also changed these and I didn't actually know if I needed to, it just kind of came in the pack. So the lights here, they're supposedly a lot brighter than the original ones. But yeah, um, that's all from the trunk side. So from the interior, what I probably disliked were a few things. So one was I did not like the wooden trim. I know some people love it, I know some people hate it, but I was kind of the hater part of it. Um, I changed this with and added the carbon fiber uh, covers, um, which I think they look okay. Um, it gives this kind of blacker look in the car, which is nice. I also upgraded all the lighting, so it's a lot brighter on the footwells as well. and I the lighting has changed underneath the puddle lights as well. Um, the other thing, I got some protectors here. These are just stickers. I might actually open the other side so you can see it a bit better. But yeah, so these are just stickers. Um, they're okay. I haven't found anything that you know, worked a lot better than this. So I'm gonna stick with this for now. Um, you can see this in better lighting. I think the pattern looks okay. Relatively easy to install. I also got this at the back as well, a little tray, and they're kind of held on the side by magnet bits. Uh, so it just locks in perfectly. Um, my main reason for that was I didn't like the line between uh, this panel on the, the left and right panel so i put that on top there but you know it does prevent me from doing future mods such as the swivel screen for example um, i got some lights there you can see the piping and turning blue already um, for me that part you know that install wasn't hard it's just that i didn't think the install was that clean so normally you get the blue light kind of across the front the top here as well um, I opted not to do that because I think the install wasn't that clean. Some parts of the light, as the piping, as you kind of bend it, it goes a bit darker blue or darker color changing because the, the light hits it and, uh, and refracts differently in that area. Um, yeah, so 
haven't done much on the interior. Uh, I got some protection at the back for the kids. Oh, so dirty, but that, and it's not very good. You can see it's a sticker. So if I rub it, it, it gets a bit flatter, which, you know, it's there to protect it, uh, protect uh, the, the kids from kind of scuffing it. Got some model free ones like here, the little metal plates here. They don't light up, which I'm now kind of regretting. Um, here's the uh, like a carbon fiber panel cover for this. So you're probably looking at it and go, oh, that's weird. <laughs> and that's exactly how I kind of feel about it. Um, it's weird in the sense that like, there's only one cover, so. Um, one bit there and there's no matching bits so I, I am gonna upgrade the bottom bit there to kind of match it and maybe some at the front um, I didn't actually want it I love the look of the original the carbon fiber piece was purely there because I was modifying something at the back I popped that cover off it dropped literally from there to there and it chipped man this stuff is some low quality plastic vegan leather crap so um yeah because of that i had to buy a cover to kind of hide the imperfection which is very very frustrating um yeah I, as you can see i got two car seats one booster on the other side in here um you know there's little to no space left in the middle after that i can kind of show you in case people are interested in trying to get in two car seats inside oh. yeah you can see it just fits that the width of almost a hat um, i can't fit in there definitely um the other thing i did want to show and i keep forgetting about this one is the adobina um all right so another controversial topic but uh, some people like it some people dislike it Ugh. I personally dislike looking at this and it's got a pin to unlock. So I got this little speedometer bit, bit. so it tells the speed. Um, I'll see if I can shift into drive here. Yeah. You can see if I indicate. Yeah. I, I think it's really cool. It's really subtle. It doesn't affect my day to day much besides the fact that I don't have to do this. And then I can look straight ahead. It's a bit more natural. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. So hopefully that was helpful around modding your Tesla. Um, feel free to drop me any kind of questions inside the comments section. And yeah, and hit smash that like and subscribe button. Thanks, guys. See ya.